Today would have been Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s 93rd birthday. A man who has had profound impact on our nation. He's remembered and honored today by people performing acts of service for the community. News 4 2 son Lupita Maria joining us live from Midtown at Changemaker High School with more on the legacy uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had here in Southern Arizona. Lupita. We're here at Changemaker High School where volunteers were here all afternoon helping the community. Now volunteers, other volunteers also helped out in uh, with five different nonprofit organizations. Those organizations range from cleaning up the environment to donating diapers to the diaper bank to also helping with the opioid epidemic. I know this would be good for me and the community as a whole. 17 year old Kimberly Jimenez is one of about 90 AmeriCorps volunteers involved with Arizona Serve who are putting together 500 emergency kits for snoring prevention works. The kits contain Narcan. To help out with um, those who might be struggling with drugs, those who are taking it like as their own needs. So I feel like doing this, it will help save a life. 18-year-old Cristana Ramirez is also spending the day participating in National Day of Service. Well, Martin Luther King, um, he was an activist and he wanted to help others and be in service to others. So I think that this really helps to represent that. And um, by making these kits, we're helping people who are, um, who we could possibly save their life. Five organizations are benefiting from Dr. King's legacy. Sonoran Prevention Works, Arizona Serve, Tucson Village Farm, the City of Tucson River Restoration Team, and the Diaper Bank of Southern Arizona. I think in general, service is very important for our community. And here in the Tucson community, there are several different nonprofits doing really great work that could use some extra support. This year, they're wanting the community to get involved by donating diapers to the diaper bank. They can bring, you can bring your donation here to the high school for the next week. They'll be here from 9 o'clock until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Reporting live from Midtown, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.